Huh? And I'm not talking about take advantage in terms of hurting people or gouging people. I'm just talking about looking at what's going on, okay? Uh, here's what happened. We have an opportunity. Let's do it. Certain businesses did great. Uh, yeah, certainly the paper goods companies, toilet paper uh, and uh, Clorox did terrifically. And you just had certain businesses that, that did, the takeout businesses did very well. It's our thing. Takeout services, certain uh, streaming services, Netflix, mm. Disney Plus, uh, uh, Hulu, I mean, exploded. Uh, UPS and FedEx uh, naturally went through the roof. Amazon did great. But we're not talking about individuals. And this is the disparity between first world and third world countries and the kind of culture we have. I've often Which said that uh, this is a tough place to be poor in because it is, uh, we don't have a lot of social uh, Korea is another country, you know, that has far more safety net than we do, but it's a country of opportunity. And you grab it when you can grab it. Young people simply do a better job. So this story out of the LA Times and it has to do with uh, uh, a guy uh, by the name of Jung Yu Ho. And we'll call him Jung. And uh, right in the middle of the pandemic, uh, he's a capitalist. He said, okay, this is what's going on. An acquaintance of his dad pivoted his cosmetics factory, I mean, overnight, to create face masks, manufacture face masks that obviously were in huge demand. So the man asked Jung, uh, who 23 at the time, setting, uh, saying, you know what, I'm old school, I manufacture, can you set up an online direct-to-consumer sales operation? Well, uh, Jung, being a young guy of 23 and computer savvy, uh, said sure, and he immediately did that. In just a month, the business went from zero to $350,000 a month. And he said, am I going to be rich? The answer is probably the pandemic has de devastated economies and gutted jobs across the developed and undeveloped world. We know how, how people and businesses have suffered. But, uh, you know, people have taken advantage of it. Incidentally, the loss of these opportunities to hit young people particularly hard. Because the jobs young people have, uh, because they don't work at home, uh, they work at jobs where they have to be there, they've been hit particularly hard, and herein lies a couple of stories that I want to share with you, some positive stories, because the devastation has not hit evenly at all. Uh, young people, particularly in privileged regions like ours, like Korea, Asia, Europe, uh, this pandemic has actually offered up a chance to jumpstart businesses or to boost entrepreneurship, investment, creativity. And we know that the very upper crust of uh, the world's wealthy have done better than anybody else. Why? Well, because they've invested in pharmaceuticals and testing and vaccine, Amazon, food delivery, uh, streaming entertainment companies. These are all public companies. And if you have any kind of investment in, this, in a company like this, you've exploded. You've done well. As a matter of fact, that's one of the arguments for increasing the taxes, why the Biden administration is going to increase the taxes, uh, saying it, the disparity is huge, the disparity is getting worse between the rich and the poor. That's correct. It is. Now, whether you think that's good or bad, if you're a capitalist, uh, even a Republican capitalist, uh, hardcore, you say they deserve it. They took advantage. They're hardworking, and the people that are now, not doing well, well, they're missing the opportunity. And then others are saying, hey, not everybody has the wherewithal, and we need a safety net. Well, that's a discussion in and of itself. But we're dealing with uh, people, actually young people, who have seen this and taken advantage of this, because where's all the energy? Uh, the energy is amongst young people. You know, you don't see too many 40, 56-year-olds who have businesses that literally just turn on a dime and take advantage of a, a new circumstance. Well, some do, but certainly not like a 20-year-old who starts a business. Very few 60-year-olds start businesses. And in the case of Jung, uh, he was 13. Uh, his dad's cosmetic uh, business went bust. And then he really had a problem. He lived alone in an apartment. 
He was dodging debt collectors. He gave up college and he went to vocational school. At 18, he started working at a Samsung semiconductor factory. And uh, the salary was tremendous, $60,000 a year, uh, double the, uh, the annual salary, the average in South Korea. But he was working 60, 80 hours a week. And he actually, he described that as he finished the shift, the sweat was pouring out of his body because they demanded so much work for so long. And so uh, where he really started, and I love this story, I had to bring this up, is he started an online drop shipping business importing and selling women's clothing and sex toys from China. That was the big one. And every time you bought one of these sex toys, he, uh, he added a free fortune cookie. And you craft it open saying, you will have a great time. I don't know if that's true, but it sounds good. And then he started investing in the stock market. And then when the pandemic hit, he launched his online mass sales business. That's taking advantage of the pandemic. Although the sex toy business, you know, it's, uh, it's pretty solid, so to speak. And uh, then he quit his job, and this is where he put in. I love this thing. Uh, he invested about 60,000 euros, give or take about uh, uh, $70,000. And he and his partner started a company called Happy Poe, Happy Poo, uh, translated Happy Rear End. It's an 11 inch tall squeeze bottle that you use, well, it shoots a stream of water. And the point of it is that if you go to particularly Asia, what do you have? You have these toilets that shoot water. And uh, what it does is reduce the amount of toilet paper you use, and it's, uh, they're kind of neat if you've ever used one. I happen to have one at home, by the way. And you can control uh, the water pressure, uh, the water temperature, and frankly, I'm a big fan. I am. Now, it gets a little wet. You know, granted, because the air dry, you push another button, and then hot air. So uh, the concept of uh, blowing uh, hot air up your, your, your rear end, uh, it actually works when you're talking about a toilet. And so since you, you need electricity, you need a water supply, and it's uh, aftermarket. Some toilets now have those. So if you don't have that, what do you do? Well, he came up with Happy Poe, the squeeze bottle. I guess with a nozzle at the end. And what you do is just fill it up with warm water and then just squeeze. I tell you, it's a great idea. I mean, it makes all the sense of the world. Very practical. It doesn't work very well. You've tried it? My wife has. Oh, she's disappointed. Wow. Well, I'm certainly not disappointed in my toilet thing at home. No, if I have a toilet thing. Yeah, it's, 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 it's aftermarket. It, uh, it replaces uh, your toilet seat. And, you know, I mean, there's a fair amount of technology to it. Yeah. And, and some of them sing, and I don't have the singing one. Some of them provide music while they're doing their thing. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Anyway, entrepreneurship ending with uh, one of the better stories. I just want to make a little light today because it's always heavy, heavy news, right? Home ownership. Why no one can no one can afford a house anymore? So what do millennials do? Well, I'll share that story with you and then Tech Tuesday coming up at 8 o'clock. This is KFI AM Story. Let's check in with Tech Chris Little. The fire burning in Santa Barbara County has grown to 6,000 acres. More than 24,000 nurses and other healthcare workers at Kaiser Permanente in California and Oregon had voted to authorize a strike of the pay and working conditions strained by the coronavirus pandemic. China is pledging $230 million to establish a fund to protect biodiversity and developing countries, uh, in developing countries, and asking other countries to help out. We'll see what's up on the five with the KFI in the sky next. If you thought you missed the lowest mortgage rates in history, you're in luck, because they're back. Mortgage rates are near historic lows again. So if you have a mortgage, refinance it and forget it. You'll never have to worry about refinancing again. Network Capital Funding is offering a low 15-year fixed rate at 1.75% with a 1.94 APR. Incredible! Network Capital has built a reputation for saving people time and money with our unique process that's fast, simple, and secure. Our 15-year fixed rate is 1.75% with a 1.94 APR. Now, second chances don't come often, and you may never see these rates again. So, refinance. 
finance it and forget it. That's a 15-year fix at 1.75%. Yes, 1.75% with a 1.94 APR. Call the experts at Network Capital now. Call 800-500-NUMBER-1-HIT. 800-501-HIT. As in home run, call now and save big on your refi. 800-500-1-HIT. 800-500-1448. Tip and save at Circle K with a new drink subscription. Enjoy one coffee or fountain drink every day for only $5.99 a month. Sign up in store. Circle K, make it easy. Southern California weather from KFI. Sunny today, highs in the 60s at the beaches to the low 70s, Metro LA, the Valley's OC, and the IE. This report brought to you by Circle K. From the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center, we make it easy. Problems on the five. You bet the well, it's busy uh, due to construction, really, this northbound five now to Newton Buena Park. Uh, a fairly normal morning drive, which means, unfortunately, slow up to about Valley View. That's where the work is still going on. But you know what? You'll be okay after the 605. From the 605, up to the cell interchange, and uh, kind of slow going. Now, we got off to a bad start here on the westbound to Artesia Freeway. Coming away from the 5 over towards 605, it was a place that played out for a long time there. Went over to the, the shoulder a while ago, but still kind of slow going across. The eastbound side fares better. Northbound 110, just a real slow drive up to uh, downtown Los Angeles. And the 710, it improved a lot, really. Northbound, a little slow to the 105. Southbound, still looking good, down to the 405. Major event accident, visit Superwoman, superwarrior.com. Jeff Ball, AFI in the sky. This report is sponsored by the Auto Club of Southern California. Looking to save money on auto insurance? It's easy. Get your free quote at AAA.com slash insurance. You can save even more when you bundle your homeowner's or renter's policy, too. Visit AAA.com slash insurance today for your free quote. Hey, Conley here. Know why I got a whole house water filtration system from Jurgen Water? Because I don't want to wonder if my family's tap water is safe. No more wasting money on bottled water. No plastic bottles to recycle. And no more visits to the chiropractor's office because you're lifting five gallon bottles of water or 40 pounds of salt. No calcium buildup on faucets or shower heads, and that alone is worth it. Purigan extends the life of your water heater. Stay gone with this clean water. Purigan Water offers free lifetime service. No one else can make that claim. The system takes up a little tiny amount of space. So let's get pure again. California's preferred whole house water filtration system. And for a limited time, when you buy a whole house system, you get the six days alkaline drink system for free. 844-80-WATER. 844-80-WATER. That's P-U-R, again, water.com. Spelled ah. wrong, but the water's right. 844-80-WATER. The pure again man is your best friend. The by the year 2035, nearly half of today's occupations and some industries will be gone. It's because of rapid changes coming our way thanks to disruptive technology. Join host Rick Edelman for a virtual event, The Truth About Your Future, on October 19th at 3 p.m. or 8 p.m. Eastern. This valuable presentation is designed to help you understand the coming changes that will reshape everything from tax laws to how you live, work, and prepare for retirement. Please go to EdelmanFinancialEngines.com to register for this free event. You'll discover the potential opportunities involving the latest technologies, like artificial intelligence, 3D printing, neuroscience, and the blockchain. All this education and advice is based on our 30-plus years of investment management experience. Please join us Tuesday, October 19th at 3 p.m. or 8 p.m. Eastern. Go to EdelmanFinancialEngines.com to register. From here forward, ask the right questions during open enrollment to make sure you stay happy in the year ahead. To ensure your Medicare Advantage plan includes access to PIA health doctors and hospitals, including PIA health Good Samaritan Hospital, be sure to ask, will I get access to PIA health hospitals? Can I continue to see my PIA health doctor? Visit PIAHealth.org slash Medicare or call 888-365-4450. That's 888-365-4450. 888-365-4450. I am one of thousands of women with metastatic breast cancer or MDC, which is breast cancer that has spread to other parts of the body. I am living in the moment and taking eyebrows, top with 
Ibrand's 125 milligram tablet with an aromatase inhibitor is for postmenopausal women or for men with HR positive HER2 negative MBC as the first hormonal based therapy. Be in your limit. Ask your doctor about Ibrand and visit Ibrand.com. Ibrand may cause low white blood cell counts that may lead to serious infections. Ibrand may cause severe inflammation of the lining, cold disease, and lose the gas. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including trouble breathing, shortness of breath, cough, or chest pain. Before taking Ibrand, tell your doctor if you have fever, chills, or other signs of infection, liver or kidney problems, are or plan to become pregnant, or are breastfeeding. Common side effects include low red blood cell and low platelet counts, infections, tiredness, nausea, poor mouth, abnormalities in liver blood tests, Diarrhea, hair thinning or loss, vomiting, rash, and loss of appetite. Second business note, small businesses are always looking to cut expenses. That's why we offer the best value on fast internet and phone. But we wanted to do more. So, how does one month free sound? Get 200 megabits per second internet for $49.99 a month and business phone for $19.99 a month. And right now, you can get one month of internet and phone and even TV for free. Call 855-258-5887 and switch to Spectrum Business. Let's get to know KFI's Employee of the Month. Hello, how's it going? Victor Wright. I am the producer of the Daily Dive podcast, and it, it means a lot to me uh, to get all of this support, all these people coming and wishing me things after winning Employee of the Month. It, it means they're not forgetting about me, and that's the key to my life, is to not be completely forgotten. Congratulations to Victor you're right. KFI's October 2021 Employee of the Month. KFI AM 640. More stimulating talk. And uh, good morning. Bill Handel here on a uh, Tuesday, October 12th. And the California Department of Justice investigating the oil spill. Now we have agency after agency jumping in on uh, the Huntington Beach oil spill. Uh, county, state, city, uh, feds, I mean, everybody's jumping on this to try to figure out what happened. And I think the oil company's going to get nailed on it. Uh, maybe not so much for causing the spill, because there could be a shift that caused it and they didn't do anything wrong. It's uh, the timeline. When did they first start moving on it after uh, it was noted. We're talking about a 16 hour t- uh, test or timeline uh, land. Only a home uh, here in Southern California, very difficult. Now, if you're already a homeowner, uh, you're in great shape. You've seen your property values explode and you're sitting pretty. Uh, if you're looking to buy a house, not so much. I was looking at home values here in Burbank, and you go up the street, Hollywood Way, or uh, in any neighborhood here in Burbank, it's a pretty good area. And a three-bedroom, 2,200, no, not even, I'm sorry, 1,500, 1,700 square feet home, square foot home with a small yard, a million dollars, a million one for a small three-bedroom house. And you shake your head, who in God's name can afford that today with a $200,000 down payment? So how do millennials buy a house? Well, uh, they're getting together. And they're buying them in groups. Now, not huge groups, but you'll get a couple of people uh, get, uh, they get together. Uh, and the reason this is important is since 2014, millennials became the largest share of home buyers. Uh, and co-buying has soared simply because, well, you can't do it on your own. Herein lies uh, the problem that's going on. Uh, this trend is increasing like crazy. Why? Because uh, you more working couples uh, that have money but not enough. Uh, high housing prices have made it very difficult. So the trend of co-ownership goes right through the roof. Now, in some cases, it's uh, about actually rooming together with friends, but beyond that, owning a house together. And there's simply a co-buying trend out there, not only because millennials accept the concept uh, more, but uh, it's, well, uh, necessity is what's going on. I mean, everybody would like to have their own house, but again, how do you afford a three-bedroom, small three-bedroom house here in Burbank for over a million, uh, a million dollars. 
So, uh, as always, and this is a, an article I picked up in terms of advising you how to do it. Assuming you're going to do it. Assuming these people are going to do it. I, here is what I always say whenever we deal with a contract, whenever I get involved in legislation, and that is the magical term, unintended customer. You've heard that. And as a matter of fact, uh, whenever I write or get involved in a contract or a purchase, I spend far more time talking about or thinking about how to get out of it than I do getting involved. Getting in is easy. Getting out is difficult. So legal experts are saying, get a real estate lawyer to write that co-ownership agreement. And you have to look at every possible scenario. Uh, you know, for example, who gets to hire the handyman if there's a plumbing problem? Who collects? the money and makes the mortgage payment. What happens if one party moves away? Still responsible. How do you deal with that? Typically, there's a holding period, too. You can't flip the house. Three to five years is typical. You have to hang on to the house. So it is really important. Maybe you're forced to and you have kids that are thinking of uh, purchasing a home because home ownership naturally is what we aspire to do and look at what's happening think about it and uh, there's all kinds of information out there on the website uh, but the bottom line is this is just a trend we're looking at it's a brand new trend well, it's not new but it's certainly exploded and that is co-ownership of homes it's a different world I mean, I, do, uh, do property values uh, ever go down well they have but in the near future, I couldn't afford my house today, for example. I built the Persian Palace 20 years ago and found a piece of land in a good neighborhood. I, you can't even do that. Those have disappeared. That's the housing crisis here in Southern California, and that's not going to go away anytime soon. Coming up, Tech Tuesday with Rich tomorrow and a whole lot going on in the world of tech. This is KFI AM 640. Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. In different therapy, KFI. And KOSP. Los Angeles, Orange County. Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. A pair of oil spill related investigations. I'm Chris Little, live from the KFI 24 hour newsroom. California Attorney General Rob Bonser says his office will eight, investigate eight, the eight, pipeline break eight, off the coast of OC. We are focused on the immediate re response to the spill, but we also want to know how this happened, who knew, and when. Bonser was given a flyover of the coastline yesterday and then met with reps from Amplify Energy, the owners of the pipeline. He was also given a visit by state and game officials and the Coast Guard. Bonser also took the opportunity to promote a conversion to clean energy. State officials say they are organizing a special committee to investigate the oil spill. California Assembly member Connie Petri Norris says uh, it will she, she will be the chair of the committee. She says the group will look into what caused the spill and also ways to avoid other spills in the future. What I'm really hoping we learn is, guess what? There's actually better equipment and technology that would enable us to detect that spill faster, to respond to it sooner, and to clean it up more quickly than you know, the folks that are rolling around in these boats. The committee's first hearing is set for next month. Next month a lunar hero. Investigators are trying to figure out why a small plane took a nose drive into a UPS truck and some homes in San Diego County. Two people were killed and two others were hurt in yesterday's crash. The plane went down while trying to land. The pilot and the UPS driver uh, were the two killed. John Gruden is out as head coach of the Las Vegas Raiders because of emails he sent before being hired. They contained racist, homophobic, and misogynistic comments. A report by the New York Times says Gruden used an intolerant language, uh, a de intolerant language in several emails during a several year period starting in 2011. Gruden says he resigned because he doesn't want to be a distraction for the team. Texas has taken another step toward banning COVID 19 vaccine requirements in the state. ABC's Derek Dennis has said an executive order was signed yesterday that says no entity in the state, including private businesses, can require Change people to get the vaccine. Governor Abbott announcing the order under his emergency powers while also adding the issue to the ongoing special legislative session. If Republicans clear the order in both chambers by next week, it becomes law. Abbott says no one should be forced to get the vaccine. A report by the World Health Organization says climate change is the single biggest threat to humanity. ABC's Derek Dennis 
again because the WHO has put out a list of recommendations for governments to address climate change. The WHO says the pandemic has highlighted the delicate links between humans, animals, and the environment. You better watch out on that 405. <laughs> Good advice on any time of the 405. But we're going to handle your drive now, uh, the North Down Drive from Steel Beach all the way up to LA. And not too bad. I think if you got a little extra time in the budget here, you're going to be okay. Definitely slow getting away from the 605 up to about Lakewood and then again through the 710. And then from that point, really, all the way up to the 105. It's just slow but moving along. Carpool Lane, that's looking good. Now, what I warn you about is north of there. Every barn is this way, it seems, even without an issue. But really, stop and stop kind of drive. Still, you get through the 90, and then finally up to the 10, you'll be okay. Uh, the eastbound 10 is okay, going towards downtown Los Angeles, Santa Monica Freeway. Westbound, the usual, for all out through about Robertson. And finally, the 110 in between the uh, Santa Monica Freeway and uh, the 91. Well, it's just plain slow up both directions, and all lanes open for you. Major in an accident, visit superwomansuperlawyer.com. Jeff Fox, AFI in the sky. Medicare annual enrollment, uh, the period starts uh, this Friday and goes into January. And it's important for you to know that Medicare uh, is available. Changing the plans are available. And navigating Medicare can be overwhelming, which is why I'm suggesting you call AGA Medicare Options. AGA team of experienced agents will advise you step-by-step -step on a plan that fits your unique situation and budget. You're different than your neighbor. Oh, these plans change every year and sometimes substantially. So it's important that you know which plan to go to, and that's what AGA does. It compares most of the major plans at once at no cost to you. They'll help you find plans that are accepted by your physicians, cover your medications at the lowest out-of-pocket cost, and even if you're still on Medicare right now, set up a benefit review. It's free to ensure you're still on the best plan. So to call and set up your free consultation, dial pound 250 on your cell and say the keyword, my Medicare. Pound 250 on the cell, say my Medicare, or go to agamedicareoptions.com, agamedicareoptions.com. Hi, it's Erin Andrews here for my friends at Cuddly. Each year, 6.5 million animals enter rescue centers looking for a second chance at life. The community on Cuddly helps these underdogs win. Cuddly champions animal rescues and makes it easy for you to donate essential items like food, toys, medication, and even surgery to the animal of your choice. Log on to Cuddly.com and learn how you can save a furry friend today. The KFI Financial Update brought to you by Bay Alarm. The Dow is up 22, S&P 500 down 2. NASDAQ is up 16, and, oh, I'm sorry, down 16. And the price of a gallon of regular gas in California is 440. Bay Alarm is celebrating 75 years of innovation and personal service that's second to none. Southern California weather from KFI. Sunny today has the uh, 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 beaches to the low 70s for Metro LA, the Valley's OC, and the IE. Right now, Tufton 56, Laguna Beach 60. It is 54 in Glendora, 59 in Whittier. We lead local, live from the KFI 24 hour newsroom. I'm Chris Little. All the latest on gadgets and stuff with KFI President, handsome nerd. It's Tech Tuesday with Rich DeMiro. KFI AM 640. Bill Handel here on a Tuesday, October 12th. The stories we're covering include the Dodgers losing 1-0 in Game 3 of the National League Division Series. If the uh, Giants pick up one more, it's over. We're done. And today, uh, the or a Wyoming coroner, uh, coroner is going to hold a virtual press conference uh, and tell us uh, exactly how Gabby Petito died. Uh, her cause of death. Well, uh, every Tuesday, right around this time, we talk to Rich DeMuro. It's Tech Tuesday, which is KTLA's tech reporter and our tech reporter. His website is richontech.tv. Uh, good morning, Rich. Hey there, good morning to you, Bill. Happy Tuesday. Yes, it's uh, Taco Tuesdays where I rarely have tacos. <laughs> nice. Yes. Uh, here's a, a question I want to ask you. I and Clark has been uh, 
Clark Howard, so we've been texting each other. Because I'm looking for a place to help. Uh, I have a TV that's kind of old in my bedroom, and we just added Netflix to it uh, because usually we go downstairs to watch Netflix. And now I need three remote controls uh, to work on my TV. It's not a particularly smart TV. And so as I'm looking, and I'm looking for a 6-inch or a 65-inch, uh, and I can get them from $600, $700 up to $2,500 for the same size TV. Yep. And uh, I happen to be curious. I know we have some other things to talk about, but hey, uh, it's the handle show, so why the hell not? What do you get for $2,500 that you don't get for six or $700 for the same size? Yep. Good, good question. I think, this, uh, I think this gets a lot of people because they go into a store like Best Buy or Costco and they see this TV, you know, they have, you know, they read all the reviews online. They said, okay, this is the one I'm going to go in and look for. And you see it, you know, 1200 bucks, whatever. Then all of a sudden you see the same size for half the price. You're like, wait a second, why would I not get this cheaper TV? And so it's a great question. The main thing that you're getting is improved picture quality. And by improved picture quality, I mean you're going to get a brighter screen. You're going to get better colors. You're going to get better color reproduction, um, especially when it comes to the contrast, uh, the way that things are lit up. And the best example I can give is if you're looking at a moonlit shot, right? Uh, if you're looking on a cheap TV, you'll see the moon nice and bright in that shot, and the whole rest of the screen will be pretty dark. Now, if you're looking at a more expensive TV, every little thing in that image will be properly lit. So you'll see the trees, you'll see the street. You'll see the characters a little bit better lit um, because what they use is they use these mini LEDs that light different portions of the screen. So the more you're paying for a TV, um, the more they're lighting that screen with more light bulbs. All right, Instead so of we, having one light bulb, you've got, you know, a thousand. All right, so realistically, and this is one of the things, uh, if, you don't, if, you, if you don't know you're missing it, you're not missing it. Now, if you're looking at screen uh, next to each other, I get it. You're going to see one better. But you don't, uh, you don't actually miss the TV because the TV's technology is, is so good on TV. Uh, you know, are you going to think, gee, I wish this was brighter? Well, this is the thing. You, you're right. You don't know what you don't have if you're not looking at them. But I can tell I've got two TVs in my house. I've actually got three. And one has the newest, you know, Dolby Vision. And when that TV comes on, even though it's a smaller one in, like, sort of an office, uh, I can tell immediately that the picture quality is better than my main TV that does not have that. Yeah. And then I've got a Sony TV that's even older, and it trumps all of them because it's just the, the picture on the Sony is, is clearly the best. Um, but do you need 8K? No. 4K? Obviously, yes. Um, I would say if, you're, if it's in a room that it's a main room that you're going to be watching a lot of content on, I would definitely go with a 4K mini LED. That's sort of the latest, newest technology that's going to give you the best overall picture. If it's in any other room, um, you don't need something as uh, fancy. But the only other thing is you were saying with the whole remote thing. So most of these TVs nowadays have the smarts built in. And so one other thing that is um, that you do pay a little bit more for is how long you're going to wait to start streaming and for these apps to open. And the cheaper the TV, the longer it sort of takes for you know your Netflix app to fire up yeah. or your... You know, all those kind of things. Yeah, well, I'm ordering today, and I'm going to go for the cheapo creepo Blasto 5000. Uh, Perfect. Yeah. Let me know Let me know uh, if you need help with lugging it back to the store to return it. Uh, yes. I, and the voice-activated stuff, I love that. Uh, because I'm horrible. My uh, my thumbs, my fingers uh, don't work well. I mean, they're too big for everything, uh, even Absolutely. though they're a normal size. So I love the idea of, uh, hey, TV, uh, I want to watch. Calamari game, for example, which is yes. not on Netflix. All you do is tell the TV what you want and does it for you. That I like. Just say it. Uh, that show is fantastic. I mean, the calamari they're eating is just... Uh, that's it's true. Just, I mean, if anybody... That's, uh, that's some, have you seen Squid Game already? No. I have not oh. watched it. I know. I'm oh, the only in America. It, it is wonderful. There is it really? so much gratuitous violence. People getting yeah. their heads blown off. And they must have spent a fortune on the squid. You know, just, I mean, it's really wonderful. And it's so unique. It's Korean. Uh, just, um, I loved it. And Netflix is, a, that's the other thing, uh, talking about Netflix. I was just reading that Netflix, 97% of Netflix users, and that's hundreds of millions, have watched a show outside of their own language, have watched right. a subtitled show. 
this is a huge deal because um, it's Squid Game and a lot of these shows, they, they had a big bet on Asian content, like, you know, shows from Asia. Um, and it has paid off handsomely. In fact, uh, remember that movie, um, oh my gosh, what was the one that, that won, almost won the Academy Award? Oh, Paradise. Or Parasite. Okay. Parasite. Parasite. It was yeah. horrible. Horrible. Horrible? Oh, come on. It won, it won the Academy Awards. It ran so slowly. I, just, uh, you know, I fell asleep through half of it and woke up uh, and it was... You liked it? I, I thought it was pretty good. I mean, I'm, I'm, I thought it was interesting. But here's the thing. I mean, the bigger picture is that you're right. Like, Americans used to only watch, you know, uh, American-made content. And I think we're finding out that people can enjoy content from all over the world. In fact, there was a movie called Wish Dragon that was for the kids. Uh, that originated uh, from somewhere um, in Asia, and it was fantastic. It was like a brilliant uh, movie, and I think one of the best I've seen for the kids' movies. So. Yeah, I mean, think of the way the world has changed. It used to be that virtually all television around the world, uh, the gold standard was taking American television and either dubbing it or subtitling it. We right. were the producers of all the content. I mean, so many people have learned English from watching American television. That's all changed. Right, and you would think like if you if you watch like a French movie or so, you know something from a different country, it was like either an artsy movie or something you know that that not a lot of people were exposed to, or you had to seek it out. And now the fact that Netflix is just saying, you know what, we've got a worldwide audience, let's just let them see a whole bunch of stuff, and uh, you know some of the top shows, like you said, are are not originated from America, which is pretty amazing. Yeah, Very it's great. Hollywood. I read, I, living here. Yeah, I read that Netflix is uh, producing uh, shows for next year from. 60 different countries or 40 different countries. I mean, it's just astronomical. What was the you show, uh, the, the White Tiger, I think it was called, which was originated from India? That was excellent. I mean, it's really pretty amazing. Yeah, there was a French show, The Agent, uh, which was uh, spectacular. Love that. Uh, there's a lot of shows out there that are uh, enjoyable. Uh, <laughs> and you usually wouldn't say Korean shows. I mean, the only uh, Asian shows I used to love were 1950s Japanese sci-fi that were dubbed. And the dubbing was always five seconds uh, behind the uh, the lips of the uh, actors, and uh, it's just gotten so much better than that, unfortunately. Mm. All right, we're going to take a break. Uh, uh, with Rich Camaro. In the meantime, this is KFI AM 640, and there's uh, Chris Little. Let me Back it around. Oh. <laughs> the California Department of Justice is investigating that oil spill off the coast of Orange County. The L.A. School District has extended its deadline by a month for teachers and staff to be fully vaccinated against COVID-19. A woman in Fresno who got a nearly $5 million settlement for a police shooting that killed her 16-year-old son has been arrested as part of a gang takedown. She's one of 14 people charged. The woman's accused of using some of her settlement money to buy guns for her 14-year-old son. Who began give yeah, what's 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 to drive on the 105 with BKFI in the sky. I will give you $1,500 off later. This is for you. Only for KFI listeners. From Dr. Charles Manor. Oh, that's a certificate. $1,500 off later. And I can only give away 10 of these discount certificates to 10 KFI listeners who call now and schedule a free racing exam. The number is coming in moments. You must be sick of hearing your eye doctor, or maybe several eye doctors tell you that lace won't work for you. You go see Dr. Manger. Whether you're nearsighted, far-sighted, you have astigmatism, or you just wear reading glasses, Dr. Manger can help you. I had three eye doctors tell me I couldn't have laces, they were all wrong. A good $1,500 off laces. You must be one of the first 10 KFI listeners to call now and schedule a free event. You ready? Call 866-559-4444. Oh, 
Uh, two points far from us, 605, the toughest board for getting through the semis and and the one panel, two by four. Yeah, I'm going to say, 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 i am going to this report is sponsored by the Auto Club of Southern California. Looking to save money on auto insurance? It's easy. Get your free quote at AAA.com slash insurance. You can save even more when you bundle your homeowners or renters policy too. Visit AAA.com slash insurance today for your free quote.